Welcome to Animator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and this is The Groom, and we just watched Velocipaster, which is one of the films that was gifted to us from Wild Eye Releasing. So thank you so much, so, so, so much again. We do have the physical copy somewhere behind us, but someone was too lazy to come back here and get it, and it is available streaming on Amazon Prime Video. It's somewhere back it's, here. I think it's behind me. So... <laughs> The movie starts out with Doug, who is our pastor, who unfortunately witnesses the simultaneous death of both of his parents in um, a very interesting way, and starts to question his faith in God and what he's really doing, so he's advised to go seek... Um, How other people live throughout the world. Yeah, and maybe go somewhere that he doesn't think that God could reach him and kind of go from there i suppose this is where he stumbles upon a woman who's been shot with an arrow clutching a velociraptor claw and he takes it subsequently cutting himself with it in his palm and um we discover that maybe there's something different about doug perhaps he's not just a pastor he's a velocipastor so he befriends a prostitute named Carol who's trying to convince him to use his, uh... Powers? His new powers for good rather than evil and possibly the goodest way he could do it as he's a pastor. So we get to kind of witness their journey and, um, meet some colorful characters along the way. Side note, she is a... She's a, uh, pre-med, pre-law. Yeah. And is a prostitute only to pay for college. Makes it so much better. Pre med is very expensive, guys. <laughs> oh. So we'll leave it off here. Oh, oh wait, no, there's ninjas too. There's ninjas looking for them. Oh That's who shot the the woman who was running holding mm -hmm. the claw. So there's ninjas. <laughs> of course, there's ninjas. We're gonna leave it off there. What did you like about the movie? This was hilarious. This was this really was funny. like it was it was I was laughing almost the entire time, like. It's just, it was hilarious. I had a really good time. I thought this movie was exactly what you thought it was going to be, coming from Wild Eye. Some cheeky, funny stuff. You know, I thought the story was actually solid. You know, I, like, it was, like, it, a believable movie story, and it, it was just, I was cracking up the entire time. This was a great movie. I'm really glad I, you know, because when he had, like, the Velocipaster, like, posters up when we went and saw him in Jersey... We met we met the guy from Wild Eye really scene and I was like, Oh, Velocipastor, that actually looks cool. And I'm really glad that uh we were able to get a copy of this because this was hilarious. And there's an angry cat. Oh, come here. So what did you like about it? <laughs> I liked how ridiculous everything was. Like this is a low budget movie. This movie knows exactly what it is. This movie knows that when there's this tense point and they're flipping from one point of view to another, and there's a guy, like, checking his watch, like, what, what's what's happening? Because he you started know? a phrase and didn't end it. And, and it was just like, da, 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 da. Like, and he's like, um... It was so funny. I felt like everything, you kind of knew it was going to happen, but it was timed so ridiculously that you enjoyed it. Okay. Yeah. I, I felt like the acting was extremely over the top, which I wanted. I expected that. I thought that this is a very interesting story. I <laughs> it was very original, multifaceted, and original. And uh, <laughs> I'm so <laughs> glad we watched it. Oh my god! There's a, a part in the beginning where there's a car explosion. But I don't think they had the budget for it, so it was just like VFX car explosion, car burning, and you're like, it's like the "Is that what this scene. movie's setting us up for?" That that's amazing. <laughs> I, I was loved it. crying when when they did that, and I was like, "That's just perfect. <clears throat> that's so for that that lets you know from the beginning what kind of movie you're watching." And that they have a sense of humor about it. Could you not eat that plastic bag? Thank you. All right. Uh, what what did you not like? Um, I felt like I wanted some more gore. I I thought some of the pacing was just a bit off. There were some strange montage -y parts that I didn't quite get, but I felt like they were kind of grindhousey. so I understand why they were there. Stop eating plastic, man. 
Um, for me, it was that part in the middle. It like, it just like there was a middle part in the movie where it just hit like a flat point. Yeah. And I became disinterested for like twenty minutes, and it was like the the yeah that whole part in the middle. There was like a weird love scene that you were just like, are they holding hands? It was, it was, Is this like, just it like a really like... long interlude to holding hands and like <laughs> the, the, not open mouth kissing, just like. Mm. The Dewey Cox strange. songs, Holding Hands. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was... Songs that, about holding hands with the devil. Uh, that that sex scene was weird. Mm-hmm. It even was... A, it was just weird. It was a strange scene. That was very odd. <laughs> um, I, you know, yeah, affirm me that weird part in the middle. Just... Mm-mm. That's just like... That, that part in the middle, I was just kind of like... But uh, it ended strong. I felt like this movie made me think a whole lot of Kung Pao Enter the Fist. Mm, Yeah. (laughs) Like all the weird jokes and everything. Yeah. That's good. I I love that movie so much. So that was a really delightful part for me. Mm -hmm. All right. What would you rate it? I'd probably give it like a two out of five. I had a really good time watching it. I wonder if they're going to have a sequel somehow at some point. That would be cool. With the sequel I gave it with Lawyer Dr. Hooker. No, no not that sequel. <laughs> That's a spin-off. Spin-off. <laughs> Lawyer Dr. Hooker. <clears throat> um, I'll get the, I would give this a 3 out of 5. I think everything it, everything, everything it lacked in budget and effects and stuff, it made up for it in the over-the-top acting that was perfectly in line with the kind of movie this is. The story was good. It felt like that middle part that I didn't like was kind of like a like a filler, you know. So I mean, maybe I, they wanted to fill out the time to yeah, make it more because than an it hour. was yeah because it was only like an hour and eleven minutes I think is what the run runtime was. So that I you know I understand that that's the part I didn't like, but I understand you don't want to make a film that's under an hour. Um, this is definitely something to check out on Prime. I really like this. This was fantastic. And it's only like an hour and ten minutes, and it's just, you're going to laugh. You're going to laugh so hard, because some of this stuff is just over the top, and it's perfect. I thought the guy that played Doug, the pastor, was really good, He too. was actually a really he good actor. He was a actor. solid actor. I was really surprised. Side note, in the one scene, I called out that they looked like, uh, they looked like the two main characters at the end of Grease, and I stand by that. They seriously did. <laughs> And then I started singing the Grease song. Yeah. And she just looked at me and glared. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me like and that. the cat both judged him harshly. Mm-hmm. So, all right. Tell them where to find us. So if you have not already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Don't forget to hit the like button if you liked the video. Or if you like ninjas in every movie you watch. Don't forget to leave a comment with your thoughts down below. Have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts? Have you seen Kung Pao? Tell me how much you loved it because I love that movie so much. Um, Don't forget to hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. You can find my solo as well as reviews with the groom on uh, iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well. Where can they find you? You can find me on Twitter under Repeat Groom Ray. You can also find me on Twitch under Repeat Ray Animator. So, we had a lot of fun. We did. This 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 was a good one. We saw more movies from Wild Eye to watch. Oh, this is going to be a great time. <laughs> all right. See you guys later. Bye. <laughs> Velocipaster.